Ah, interesting to note that the background music has changed now that we've unlocked the uh, final areas, but <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to um, Shuffle Knight, I guess. It's actually, actually, this, uh, start of this is actually quite funny, just because something really, like, this has never happened before when playing with you. Uh, yeah, you just, like, spam this item in this place, I'm pretty sure, so I'm not much to worry about here. While I tell my mm, not funny but funny story. So basically, I turn the Wii on to record, record, right? And yeah, everything's fine. And I go to, um... Get some gems? Yeah, that's what I went to do. No, I go to, um, you know, I'm just trying to select the Shovel Knight file, and it's like, I can't go over to the right. So I'm like, what, what's going on here? Is my D-pad broken? Um, my first thought was, what the hell am I doing here? That's... That's my first thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the guy you meant to jump on, just kill him from the side. That's a freaking genius. Oh my god. I'm so good. Oh, that's actually a very easy fix though, because when you just um you know Yeah, you meant to do it in the air. Oh, that respawns, right? Yeah, probably does. <laughs> yeah, anyway, to make a long story short, what basically happened is I thought, you know, I'll reset my controller. It's probably like, you know, I turned it on with the stick at the side. They don't respawn, don't they? Maybe if I walk away, you know, old school style. Or transition the screen will 100% work. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it just like twigged on me all of a sudden that it's, uh, oh, my gamepad is probably like upside down on my bed. So the, the stick on the gamepad is probably... Um, you know, like, or, like held to the right or some bullshit. So, and it, it actually was, which is actually kind of funny, because, you know, I had the Wii U for ages, and that's never happened. Up we go, up we go, up we go. Yeah, that'll do. And up here. Anything worth up here? Just more money, you know? That's just, that's the only reason to do this, more money. Oh, actually, I think there's a, um, note. Treasure note thing. Yeah, don't all these have that? Oh man, so you can just cheat, you know, go phase lock it, go whatever, but there's no fun in doing that, so we'll do it the uh, cool dude way. No phase lock it required. There are a lot of games like that, actually, I think. Now, don't ask me to, you know, reference one, because I will have to sit here for like five minutes trying to remember one. But it's like, there's always a, like, path of least, well, not always, but there's sometimes a path of least resistance, where, um... You know, at least some easy way to do something, but, you know, you just don't want to do it, like, the more, like, intended way, I guess. Yes, there is a music note. You know, for more money and achievements, I guess. <laughs> Gotta get those achievements, ho ho. Achievements, achievements. It's an interesting topic. I think I've covered this before, but, um, especially when it comes to, like, Nintendo consoles and achievements, you know, Back when the Wii U first came out, I was like, oh, why doesn't this have achievements? You know, I love achievements, yada, yada, yada. I was so used to, um... Literally, the point of this screen is just go to go fishing. And I think it actually is a treasure scroll thing. Music note, yeah. No, it's just this. So that is a complete waste of a screen. <laughs> so long, waste of a screen. That background is freaking amazing, though. I thought I had the thing selected. I did not. <laughs> you know... This thing, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, achievements, achievements. Oh, get out of my way. So, you know, yeah, you know. Because I was all about those achievements on, like, you know, the 360 and stuff, and it's like, you know, you know? <laughs> nah, no, you know. You don't know. That's why I'm telling you, you know. Uh, but yeah, I'm trying to think of how to explain myself, the, like, my best of my ability here. Now, doesn't this stuff start, like, sinking as soon as I stand on it, or am I... Nope, I'm not thinking of something else. It is this, yes. Okay. <laughs> achievements, achievements, achievements. Why are they bad? Pros and cons. Pros. Um... They are an easy way to figure out, like, you know, if you want to do everything in a game, getting all the achievements is usually, like, the easiest way to know you've done that. Uh, is there an easy way to kill this guy or just, like, shovel him to death is probably the easiest way. I mean, unless, you know, there was an easy way to bounce on his head, which I don't think there is. 
Or you can just fall down. At least it's not death, it's just rats. <laughs> it's just rats. Oh, we'll do this the lazy way, I guess. Shoot at his head, because I have plenty of magic to spare. Kill him. Anyway, here's my uh, cons of achievements. They... Alright, well this is more of a personal preference thing, I suppose. But I do feel like, um, with the introduction of achievements in games, like... Like, hidden unlockables isn't really too much of a thing anymore. Like, obviously some games will still have them, but like... Like, just thinking back to like... I, I don't know, it's... I suppose the early PlayStation era games, you know? You, like, I, I, for some random reason, I'm reminded of the Spider-Man game on, like, PlayStation 1 and stuff. Where it's like, there is like, you know, there's all this hidden shit and you can keep unlocking all these different Spider-Man costumes. And, like, it doesn't really change the game much. And also all these random secrets and it's just, like, all this cool stuff. Well, I suppose you could more blame the internet for that, though. Because, like, in, you know, anything you can just, like, look up. So it's like, what's the point of putting that stuff in a game when you can just, like, almost, almost kill yourself? Oh, I need to go back. <laughs> Man, these guys. Such an old enemy, but they're still really annoying. Mmm, but yeah. Achievements? I don't know. <laughs> Let's just say... Yeah, yeah, I'm not, like, another con I've found... It's, I, I was barely, I was like half off the screen there. Don't give, don't give me that game. Don't give me that. I'm dying a lot more than I would like to here, but uh, as you know, this is like the end of the game. I can give myself some uh, slack since it's been, you know, 11 months since I've done this. <laughs> to remind you, I promise the next LP won't have that excuse ever. Actually, it will still because I can. <laughs> That's, that is the excuse for every death ever in all LPs ever from now on. Just, uh, yeah, I haven't played this game for 11 months, so, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's the reason. Alright, so can we not die this time? So you just gotta go, like, this, yeah. Easy. Looks like you're about to get crushed, though. Hey, this is like that thing in, uh, Super Mario World. You know, that one level with the yellow thing that goes up and it killed me. You know, I'm like a friggin... <laughs> Speaking of Mario World, I'd say Mario's hitbox is actually kind of a bit better. I don't know, it's like, cause he's got the horns there, and it's like... Oh no, oh no, wait, hang on, hang on, I'm making different excuses. No, the excuse I'm meant to be making is... Well, you know, I haven't played that part since 11 years ago, so... I've <laughs> it's 11 years now, okay. Man, that guy is so annoying. Oh, oh, Alright, I think, I think this isn't funny anymore. I should enter, uh... Oh, I'm doing it. I haven't done this in like 11 months, and I'm doing it. I am entering super serious mode. The mode where Josh goes like ultra instinct, super saiyan god, super saiyan god, son Goku. And unlocks his hidden potential to not make a single mistake ever. Unlike that one. See, not nah, didn't die. Not a mistake. Not a mistake. Alright, so I want my treasure back. So can I have that? Okay, come back. Yeah, okay. This is like sitting there like, hmm, what's going on here? Anyway, to wrap up that whole achievement discussion so I don't have to like keep calling back to this crap. Basically, my opinion of things is that Shovel Knight actually does it right. Where it, a game should have its own internal achievement system. That way they're not forced into like having some like... Because oh, I, I don't think... Like, oh, I might be wrong in this, because obviously I haven't played every 360 game, unless I did, and I wasn't remembering I did. But, um... I don't think there's, like, a single 360 game that, like, can... Oh, actually... <laughs> I'm completely lying. I just remember, like, Sonic and All-Stars Racing actually tracks the achievements in the game, and you unlock stuff in the game from the actual achievements. So that was what I was going to say about that, so I guess that's one game that does it good. Of course, there's probably more. Like I said, I haven't played every game. Especially not the sequel, because I didn't like the sequel too much. First, Sonic Racing, pretty good. Second one was like, eh, whatever. I don't need more of this, let's go play Mario Kart instead. Which is like, what I'm assuming most people did, because... You know, that hasn't been a Sonic Racing game until recently. Of course, this is probably really outdated by the time anyone's watching this, but they just announced, like, some new Sonic, uh... 
just jump slash, you know, <laughs> that's, um, I do recall that being a previous advice from myself, just jump slash, oh, okay, get ambushed by that guy at first, but, like, just jump slash everything, that's how you just you hit them backwards, they can't touch you, don't fall off there, not that I'll die if I do, now, get out of the wall. Uh, is my, like, no, the shovel's not any more powerful, so you always do hit those guys. Like, again, I'm pretty sure I had a good way to take those guys out, but I can't remember it right now. Ow. Okay, I do not remember, I do not remember those guys doing that at all. Well, you can probably just use, like, the horn. Like, there you go, but that's like, I feel like using the horn is cheating. It's like using Thunder in Zelda 2, except in Thunder, at least in Zelda 2, that costs, like, all of your MP to use that. In this game, the horn, it's like, I think it's like 30 or something, which is still a pretty decent amount, but it's like, you know, not like a hefty amount, especially in, um, Zelda. You have to maintain your magic, because, you know, it has other uses, especially, like, stuff like Fairy, we actually do absolutely need it. But is not the case for Shovel Knight, I believe. Unless you're doing one of those special things, of course, but that's not a regular level. You're going into that knowing that it's not. Now, <laughs> I was just about to say, like, I've died so many times trying to get this just because the platform is ice and uh, very easy to fall off there. That is a bomb. The chicken is on the other side, I believe. No, that is also a bomb. But is there chicken behind the bomb? No. No chicken? No health, not that I need it, because I only have, like, one hit point damage. Oh, now, here we go. This is the cool part. This is, um, like, like, Solid Snake. Actually, no. <laughs> nothing like that game. I never played that game, so how would I know? Never played a Metal Gear Solid game. Eh, I should probably get around to that, eh? Seems like a pretty good franchise. That's down in the shitter, because Konami sucks. <laughs> it's actually funny with Konami, because... Oh, that was a music note. Okay. Because many of you probably know, I actually do avidly play Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. And I have, like, for quite a while now. Not since I started LPing, but like for two years or something. Okay, jump slash you. You are an annoying bird, and there's that guy on the ground there. Yeah, just everyone die. Everyone get out of here. Um, but yeah, so um, Konami is actually the distributor of the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game. And I just find it, it's funny, because I think they're actually pretty good at it. <laughs> so you've got these, like, it's like these two different dimensions of Konami, where it's like video game Konami, it's like, God, this shit, man. Always, like, shafting everything with, like, video game related. And you got, like, the, the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game, you know, they're do actually doing pretty good stuff. Although that could be because it's the, you know, American branch that decides what, uh, the non-Japanese speaking part of the Yu-Gi-Oh! game gets, as opposed to, um, I want to say there's something down there, but I wouldn't think so. Like, obviously I don't see any fishing marks, but it just looks like there should be something, eh? Uh, I'm gonna go with, nope. That is a waste of time. It's a delusion. Hmm, but yeah, Konami. Weird company. <laughs> I guess, just like most companies, it has different divisions. Now, there's gonna be those wind guys. Do I need an item to take care of those, or no, nah, I think I'm just good. Follow your dreams, Josh. Never change. Oh, I go back here. Well, this actually isn't that far back. If I stop, like, farting around and just actually kill stuff. You know, I'm not allowed to take damage. God, this spark is so useless. <laughs> like, it's not the worst thing ever. It's, it, <laughs> I just talked about Zelda 2 as well. It's, it's much like the, uh... Sword shotty thing in Zelda 2, because... Obviously, it's Zelda 1, the sword shot thing is really good, and in Zelda 2, it's like, shit. <laughs> it can't even hit most enemies, it's pretty pointless, and you need, like, full health to use this crappy move, it's like, there's no point. Alright, so it's good to jump, but not when you're jumping into bright projectiles, got it. And of course, there's really no point in killing these guys, because I've got, um... You know, I've got, the, I've got the drops, they can only drop stuff once. Now, oh, there's my money down there too, um, alright, I'm just gonna have this, no, wait, does this protect me from winds? Mm, I don't think so, so is there even a way to be safe during this? Well, yeah, it's just, it's called just don't rush ahead and just, like, do that. 
Now, I can't step on that. Oh, is this, am I really going to waste my time collecting all these? What did I? What was that all about? All right, come back up. <laughs> now, I think another one's going to rush me here, so I don't want to go too far ahead. Just get the this ready in case I need a bail. And nope, we're good. And I believe that's the end of the level. Checkpoints for noobs. I better get this one. Although I don't, I don't think I'll lose to what's his face because I've gotten pretty good at this fight. But then again, it has been eleven years, ten billion years since I've done it. <laughs> Shovel Knight, stop your meddling and turn back now. This is your last chance. Blah 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 blah. Oh man, she killed him for me. Good stuff, Shield Knight. Get out of here. No, he just got a power up. But as we all know, evil power ups are never good. So we got to kill this guy now. Now, yeah, so. Ooh. What the? Okay, okay. Reflecto momentum. Whoop. <laughs> there you go. So now he's doing. Uh, now he's. I was gonna say now he's doing normal Black Knight stuff, but now he is not. Ah, oh, can't you like? I'm pretty sure what I used to do is like just jump onto him there. Now he's like hurt, but you hit these things, the glowy ones. Yeah, he's definitely... He's, oh, I have no magic, too, so I can't throw any more things. Yeah, if you can actually get on top of him here, you can do a lot of damage, but you got to, like, follow his pattern to... to ...be able to consistently hit him. Or you just do this. <laughs> oh. Is he almost dead yet? Almost dead. And one final hit. Yeah, oh, get out of the way. Oh, good. You can't damage me while the screen's flashing multiple colors. Give me the cash. Lots of cash. I need it. In fact, I think I've left this level with uh, less than I entered it with. This has gone far enough. What have you been trying to do? You can't reach her. Ugh. You may have won, but she already may be lost. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Th was I reading this stuff initially? I'm pretty sure I was. I mean, it's as basic as stories go, honestly. I'm here to save you, princess. What a twist. She's actually the villain. Wait. I couldn't have predicted that. Or something like that. <laughs> Tower of Fate Ascent. This... Is this the final level? No, this is the boss rush. Yes, there's one more level after this, actually. And that level took me way too long. This level's a lot shorter, I believe, though, because most of it's the boss rush. You get a bit before that. Um, this is Mega Man. Okay, it's just Mega Man. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, like I said, that level took up too much time, so next time we'll do this level, I guess. See you there.